Located on the western bulge of Africa and on the Greenwich Meridian, Ghana lies only six hours from the North Europe and nine hours the Americas by flight. It's about 750 kilometers north of the equator and has a tropical climate with a temperature between 21 and 32 all year round. Sound up Africa! Sound up Ghana! If you're thinking of exploring nature's treasures, Ghana is my recommendation to you. You're just about to discover nature's treasure on the coastal zone of Ghana. This documentary is packed with news, embracing everything from the life on the coastal zone. Culture. Heritage. Landscape. wildlife and entertainment Exploring the zone will certainly excite you. Banking Ghana has a well-developed banking system with over 27 registered banks. Most of these banks offer world-class products and services. Accra Shopping Mall is the first world-class shopping center in Ghana. Located about 15 minutes drive from the airport, the mall presents convenience and a unique experience of retail, entertainment, fashion, healthcare and dining. Ghana boasts of a variety of hotels ranging from low budget to 5 star status. Nature and Wildlife Ghana abounds in wildlife and nature. The tropical climate and continual wind system sustains a wide variety of endangered species, ranging from elephants, hippopotamus, crocodiles, hyenas, bongos, antelopes, monkeys, porcupines, marine turtles, birds, butterflies, and many more. Ghana's outstanding indigenous conservation culture dates back to the pre-colonial period. Ghana has 23 protected areas in the form of national parks, resource reserves, wildlife sanctuaries and wetlands of international importance. The 360 square kilometer Kakum National Park in the central region is the second largest national park. The park also contains a popular tree canopy walkway that rises from a height of 12 to 26 and is ideal for observing wildlife from a treetop level. The Shire Hills Resource Reserve in the Greater Accra region supports 31 species of mammals, over 175 species of birds and 13 reptile species. Taffy Monkey Sanctuary, surrounded by indigenous tropical forests with high floral concentration, is a delight to visit. One can find and get close to over 300 endangered, playful and rather sacred true monkeys. 
Agumacha Wildlife Sanctuary, located in the Hohoi district of the Volta region, on the Togo Buem Ranges, covers an area of 35 km square and has 220 beds and 400 butterfly species and monkeys. This sanctuary has one of the country's most spectacular geological features. Wleet Waterfalls This waterfall is one of the perennial falls in Ghana. The fall has a plunge pool, which is safe for swimming. There are other falls such as Agbazame Falls in Amejope, Aplao Falls in Leklebi Agbesia, Akbon Falls in Logbatota, Tagbo Falls in Liate Wate, Chachadu Falls in Alavano Agbehehese, among others. Ankasa Conservation Area Ankasa Conservation Area in the western region of Ghana is a twin wildlife protected area comprising Ninisushe National Park about 166 km square and the Ankasa Resource Reserve which is about 343 km square. Ankasa lies in the highest rainfall region in Ghana and is the most botanically diverse forest reserve in Ghana. It has about 900 plant species recorded in a single hectare. Fascinating and friendly animals such as the African chimpanzee, forest elephants, bongos, six different species of monkeys, black and white, olive colorbos monkeys, diana monkeys, mono monkeys, laser clothes monkeys, etc. Snakes, monitor lizards, and crocodiles are found in the forest. The Ankasa rainforest serves as a shed for many streams and rivers. The Bamboo Cathedral is located at Inquanta, about 8 kilometers from the entrance. It is not a church, but a naturally formed cathedral. In Zulezu, the famous village on stilts is located 90 kilometers west of Takradi in the western region. It is an amazing village where life goes on in the center of the Lake Tadani. These houses are built on stilts and have a total population of about 400 to 500 people. This amazing village sitting on water is self-sufficient in a number of ways with its own chief, shops, school, churches, movie plaza, etc. Heritage castles and forts on the coastal zone of Ghana. There are some parts of heritage which are of such outstanding value to the world as a whole that their protection, conservation and transmission to future generations is a matter not just for one nation but the international community as a whole. Ghana, known to be the gateway to Africa with great cultural values and economic stability, play host to thousands of foreign dignitaries who look forward to strengthening ties in promoting development. Have you wondered why the commercial activities of the Europeans were so intensely focused along the relatively small coastal zone of Ghana for nearly four centuries? The castles and forts of Ghana constitute treasures, a legacy of historical past for modern Ghana, Africa and to the world at large. Though built on African soil, their authors came from Europe, Portugal, France, Sweden, among others. These beautiful edifices, teemed with gold and ivory export products, as well as African slaves destined to be auctioned in the New World to become ancestors to future generations of black population. Ghana's castles and forts, as per their uniqueness, have been designated as World Heritage Monument by the World Heritage Convention of UNESCO. It's your turn to visit Ghana. To behold these amazing sights and feel the warm friendship with nature.